Okay, so the new trailer for the movie, the the woman, the woman king movie about the all female army of the Dahomey Amazons. So that trailer just came out. And what I want to say is hell to the fucking no. Hell no. In no way, shape, or form should these women be honored or glorified or looked up to by anyone with common sense. The Dahomey Amazons were the most ruthless, notorious slave raiding tribes of all of West Africa. It's documented, you can look anywhere. Uh, most reports say that they're responsible for 444,000 slaves sold to the Americas. You know, they're probably responsible for about one third of all slaves that came to came across the transatlantic slave trade. In no way, shape, or form should they be honored. It's just no, no way. They, as a matter of fact, for all the for all of the Pan Africans who hate America so much. The Dahomey Amazons are probably more than likely the reason that you ended up over here because they surrounded your village, killed damn near everybody and took the children and sold them to the French or whoever they were dealing with more than more than likely. A lot of y'all have heard of uh, Cujo Lewis, the last slave the oldest slave living that was brought to that was brought to America from Africa as a slave. A lot of y'all have heard of him. So, in his, in a book, where is it at? In a book called "The Barracoon: The Story of the Last Black Cargo" by Zora Neale Hurston. She interviewed him. She interviewed this man before he died about how did he get here uh, as a slave to America, what was life, life in Africa. And he will explain to you in there that as a, as a teenager, his village was surrounded while they were all sleeping by the Dahomey Amazons. Uh, apparently it was uh, somebody in his village and. Uh, and uh, oh, and let, let me clear this up. No, the Dahomey Amazons were not only trading fucking enemies. No, by no means. By no means, they traded enemies. But no, they went on slave raids. Slave raids are when you, you basically you start shit with other people for no reason for the for the sole purpose of taking slaves. That's what they did to the to the uh, to car people, the people who um Cujo Lewis come from. And he explains to you. Uh, there was somebody in his tribe that, uh, you know, they wanted to make money. They, you know, there was a snake. They went to the king of the Dahomey and told them uh, how to how to enter their village gates. And so at night, Cujo explained how when everybody was asleep, they surrounded them. They uh they burned the village down. They killed everybody. He explains how they um cut the heads off of the elderly. Um, they would rip the bottom jawbone. From people, there was people. There was people walking around screaming with their fucking jawbone missing. They would, um, and he snatched, and they snatched all the kids for slave purposes. They raided. They will raid villages for the purpose of selling slaves. That's how their whole kingdom got money and excelled from the from slavery, from trading slaves. Now, sometimes what they would do is they would go to a peaceful village like Cujo Lewis Village. They would raise the taxes on them, give them a, a tax number knowing they couldn't pay. And when they couldn't pay, they would come and basically slaughter all the, elder, all the elderly, all the grown people and take the children to slaves. So Cujo Lewis explains this and he explains this that uh, they would take the heads like each soldier would carry about two to three heads of the people who who they just killed from his village on the uh, march back to Dahomey. And he explains how the the smell was so sickening while they was carrying the heads as trophies 
and all of that type of sick shit. The Dahomey Amazon should not be glorified. Now, Stanley Alperin, the author of the only four link English language study of them wrote, when the Amazons walked out the palace, they were preceded by a slave girl carrying a bell. The sound told every male to get out of their path, get, or get away a certain distance and don't look their way because any wrong move, any wrong look at a Dahomey, at a Dahomey Amazon meant automatic death. That's what it meant. Now, um, now these women now, so a lot of different stories and legends say that um, they were recruited, they gained the attention of the king and were recruited uh, by him. A lot of people say that they started off as elephant hunters. They started off um, gaining popularity and getting the king's attention by being uh, notorious elephant hunters. Others, other details state that they were actually uh, the bodyguard for the kings. And some people say like um, the king, uh, one of the kings, had, the king had hundreds of wives. They said the wives were the one who actually uh, did the recruiting for the Dahomey Amazon women. So it's different stories on that and on about exactly how you know, uh, their origins, you know, whether it's elephant hunters or if whether they started off as uh, bodyguards. Uh, another French delegation visiting Dahomey in the 1880s reported witnessing the an Amazon girl about 16 years training, took a machete, then completely removing the head of a prisoner, then wiped the blood from the sword and swallowed it as her fellow Amazon screamed in frenzied in approval. Now, these women were recruited as children. They were trained to be insensitive. A key part of being a soldier for the king, uh, the recruitment ceremony involved throwing bound prisoners of war um, to the deaths from cliffs and fatal heights and, you know, uh, it was customary for uh for the warriors to return home with the heads and genitals of their opponents, in which they did with Cujo Cujo Lewis people. Imagine having to march days to some kingdom with the people who just killed your mother and father carrying their heads as trophies, and the stench is enough to knock you out. The training was brutal. Uh, their training was brutal. Um. Some women were forcefully recruited. Uh, some women voluntarily um, joined the Dahomey Amazon's uh, army because it meant they could have a position of power. They could be uh, single, single wealthy women. Ring a bell, um, you know. And a lot, a lot of them were also um, enlisted by their husbands. You know, their husbands would say they were unruly wives who can't be controlled, so they enlisted their asses in the army. All the Dahomey Amazon women had slaves of their own. They were notorious slave slave raiders and slave traders. Um, and you know, um, they were recruited as young as eight years old, and uh. Once they became a part of the army, they had to keep their chastity. They were they only belonged to the king. No man could touch them. Most of them were virgins. No man could touch them. They could not have sex with anybody but the king. They were looked at as the king wives. So nobody could touch them but the kings. A lot, all they did was train all day, every day, uh, going on 10 day hunger game style expeditions in the jungle supply. With, I mean, in the jungle with no supply, just a machete, wrestling, target practice, races, Staying three days in the bushes at times. They were jumping over walls covered with thorns. They was ruthless. All they did was train. A lot of the men say that the homie Amazon women were stronger than most were stronger than most men. That's all they did was train. They trained on how to be ruthless killers. Um, they would have to go all type of initiations, like uh, kill prisoners, um, 
you know, show your uh, show show how insensitive you were. Uh, magical religious rituals, incan in to reciting magical incarnations. Uh, you know, um, wearing amulets and doing sacrifices and all types of stuff. Even after the French uh, finally won in the Second uh, franco dahomeyan War, uh, even when the French would uh, take some of the women, the Dahomey Amazon women, a lot of them would, reports say a lot of them would end up dead. When they would take the women to bed, uh, they would find the Frenchmen later on in the morning dead with their throats slit open. So the Dahomey Amazon women, they were, they were ruthless. They were ruthless. They definitely wasn't scared. They was definitely about war and bloodshed from the beginning to the end. And uh, it became an advantage for them because uh, during the franco dahomeyan War, many of the French, they would hesitate to strike a woman because, you know, they're not used to fighting women. And a lot of times that mistake would cost them their lives. And uh, so, and uh, the Dahomey Amazon uh, army, it wasn't, it wasn't all female army, but it was uh, probably about, I think maybe one third of the army was female, it was men and women. And uh, Dahomey Amazon women, it's not the first time that a king has recruited an all woman uh, battalion. It's happened numerous times around the world in the past. And the homie Amazons are just like the most popular, uh, noticeable ones. So in no way, shape or form should they be honored or glorified. These are ruthless, bloodthirsty women who are more than likely responsible for your ancestors even being here. They kill ruthlessly, uh, young and old. Any sick, any sick thing you can imagine. They, they were completely insensitive to death. And again, they were some of the most notorious slave raiders and slave traders of all of Africa. So this film is a no for me. I highly doubt that they will show the dark side of the Dahomey Amazons. You know, it's going to be like some uh, some type of a uh, black woman empowerment type shit. While you know, <laughs> leaving out leaving out all of the bad stuff. I'm quite sure, but we'll see. We'll see.